Ready? Uh, yeah. All right. All right, go ahead and raise your hand if you have a question. Uh, Fred? I give you two claps and a Rick Flair! Hey, Brad. Um, I, I just want to start us off with, and I, I know I'm sure that was an emotional game, but I, I know you know what happened in D.C. today because I saw you tweet about it, and um, I was just wondering if you had any thoughts to share on, uh, you know, everything that went down at the Capitol today. First, praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, it's very emotional. It's very disheartening in a lot of ways because, you know, just this, the lack of sense of urgency there was to respond to what was going on versus, you know, protesters of Black Lives Matter, you know, over the summer, you know, and that was a direct, like, standout from every, from, from all over the world. Like, everybody addressed the same issue, you know, and I retweeted something that Trump tweeted um, a few months ago, uh, literally about the guys and people who will vandalize and basically disrespect any federal piece of property in Portland and around the, the U.S. And those people will face a minimum of 10 years in prison. So we'll see, you know, if he has his foot in his mouth or if that's something that he really truly stands on, you know, because of the people who were invading our capital, they invaded the capital. That's unheard of. Right? <laughs> that's unheard of. But you know, it's just disheartening that that's this is where we are as a country. Uh, but you know, my biggest thing is bringing more attention to Jacob Blake and his decision in that case, and how they decided to not bring any criminal charges against those officers when he was shot seven times. You know, that's another issue we're still dealing with. So it is just ongoing. You know, but you know, we continue to fight the good fight. You know, we continue to get get in front of these lawmakers and these politicians and do, you know, continue to lay the hammer down to changes made, you know, we, but the biggest thing is the P word is patience, you know, we, the rules and changes aren't going to be had overnight. Uh, so we just got to understand what that looks like and what that means. And, you know, patience is going to be required from everyone. And Brad, there's there's not a great transition from that topic over to basketball, but um, you you had a career high tonight. What what's it like to go for a career high and tie a franchise record during a game that ends up like that? Uh, you know me, Fred. You know I'm pissed off. I'm mad. This is just you know I don't count any of my you know career highs that have been losses. So. I don't give a damn. You throw it right out the window with the other two or three I had. I just want to win. You know, sometimes it forces me to score 50, 60, whatever the case may be, but I just want to win and whatever it looks like. So came up a little short tonight, but we just got to keep at it. Nobody's going to feel sorry for us. Chase. Brad, obviously this one went down to the final minutes. What made the difference for them? Uh, I think they got stops and made made more plays than we did down the stretch. Uh, I think Embiid had a tough three. I mean, they were making a lot of shots. They made a lot of shots, and I don't even know what they shot from the field. It was ridiculous, ridiculous honestly. Yeah. And I mean, they shot 60% from the field. You can't. And it's 62 from three. Not gonna win a game like that. It's not. What What's the challenge like defending Philly this year when they've got shooters and you double him in bead and he can pass it out to Curry and, and Green and and with the way they hurt you guys today? It's tough, man. We we understand what Joel is capable of doing down there. We understand that every time down the floor they're looking to you know run their offense through him. Uh, and you know when he draws so much attention that you know they did a good job in the offseason of adding some pieces around him that can knock down shots uh you know tobias has been playing well as anybody the last week you know denny green is a spot-up shooter Seth Curry, he can put the ball on the floor as he showed tonight and you know be able to create for himself uh you know he had damn near 30. so it's i mean they they got they, they got a good team we can't we can't sit here and you know be naive to that. They have a really good ball club, uh, but I think we we put ourselves in a position to win them. You know, twice now that we played them to win. So, 
I always put it on myself to close it out. I got to be better. Ava. Hey, Brad. Um, could you put this game in a little bit of perspective in that you guys showed so much fight in the fourth quarter where you'd had trouble late early on, but it was still the defensive issue. Just where does that leave the team, I guess, in, in your view? I think we're okay. You know, it's, it's, it's those same mistakes that we have to eliminate. You know, we, 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 we showed our hand, so to speak. You play cards, we already showed our hand, you know, showing that we were able to defend, we're able to, you know, do these things the correct way on a consistent basis. You know, we built off two really good wins, uh, Minnesota and Brooklyn. You know, we had to come out tonight with that same type of intensity. We didn't have it. We didn't have that same focus. So that's been our laps. That's been our Achilles heel. We have to come in ready to go, knowing personnel uh, and knowing what to do. And, and just being ready, you know, this is, it's hard to win in this league. It is super hard. It is super hard, you know, and you have teams who are hungry, teams who haven't played since March, teams haven't played since the bubble, you know, everybody's hungry. So we just got to be better. And, uh, you know, we got another tough one, tough one in two days. So, you know, the schedule doesn't get easier and our task doesn't get easier. So we just got to. And you were trying to miss the second free throw at the end there, right? Fortunately, no, I wouldn't. But I ended up missing it. I missed two free throws in my head. So I think Joel kind of talked me out of that one. <laughs> Thanks, Brad. Yeah. Neil. Hey, Brad. Um, from what you're describing, would you say the second quarter defense when you know Philly shoots 80% from the field, is that just a matter of you know they made their shots and you no. know they can't really beat them, or what's allowing them to get those good looks man it don't make no damn sense for us to give up 50 points in the quarter on one through 15. Like, we gave up 50 points in the quarter that's unheard of you can't win a game like that like, and russ came in expressing that at halftime we cannot win games giving up 50 points in the quarter you know no matter who's on the floor me included like we have to bear down and let's just come down to defense and guard you know, and understanding personnel, understanding what guys are capable of doing, you know. And that's, I mean, you can, yeah, I mean, that's where we pretty much lost the game. 49, I mean, granted, we, we score 43, but we give up 49. Like, that's, first thing to play defense is going to win, pretty much. All right. <clears throat> Thanks, Brad. You're good. Oh, shit.